It's not often we get to meet somebody in our lives who changed an industry. I was fortunate to meet one such person, and this person is Paul Poberesny. Paul Poberesny was an aircraft aviator, entrepreneur, veteran, and aircraft designer. He founded the Experimental Aircraft Association in 1953 and spent the greater part of his life promoting home-built aircraft. Poberesny is widely considered as the first person to have universalized the tradition of aircraft home building. Through his work founding EAA and the organization's annual convention, he had the reputation of helping inspire millions of people to get involved in grassroots aviation. I met Paul briefly at a conference at the University of North Dakota where I was attending college, and Paul was very kind to take some time to sign a copy of Sport Aviation that I have uh, still very dear to me. This video is a, my tribute to Paul Poberesny, and it highlights his final air show performance flying the EAA's P-51D named Paul One. Um, just a, a joy to know or have met uh, Paul on two occasions, and uh, I just want to bring this to you to honor his life. Um, I will put a link at on the end of the video showing uh, a site where you can get more information on Paul and his career. And I just want to thank everybody for watching and for supporting my uh, Patreon channel and my YouTube channels. He flew his 380th different airplane, 380th different airplane when he flew the German Ju-52 that's located just to the north of the announcer stand. 380 different aircraft. The number is correct because like everything he does is in detail and his long Test Pilots Association has received their top award as he completes his Cuban 8 year. Paul flew all of the military, the P-80, P-86, P-89, of course. Wonderful combination of producing the world's smallest airport right here in front of Also, two of the greatest. Jim Minnie and Eddie Green, a great big salute to them. It's Paul's idea that we salute these people. We had them pass and review so they could be recognized for their contributions to our conventions here each year. Association, and I would like to recognize and honor. There's an awful lot of those people that was at that meeting that's holding offices and positions in the Experimental Aircraft Association until today. And the Experimental Aircraft Association was born in 1953. That first meeting was held in January of 1953 from Paul and Audrey's basement, and uh, some of us have been fortunate to stay there in that basement. Continuing on down the flight line, I'd like to break and once again ask for recognition for Jim Minnie and Eddie Green. Great big wave for Captain Jim Minnie. Vernon Dolman is also coming down the flight line. Well, we've designed nine different aircraft. We have built 14 
Jimmy, thank you a million. Great, great act as always. We sincerely appreciate it. A big thank you to Eddie Green, too. So you're seeing a chance. I invite you to photograph your founder, Paul Howard Pogoresny, as he flies his last routine in his North American team as one. It's the sum and total of their pay for their performances at these conventions. Performing for the EAA because of their love of aviation and the tremendous amount of benefit we have all started under two, celebrating about 27 years of air show expertise, is the man we like to refer to as the mayor. to Al Peach as the king of the Starduster pilots. It is a Starduster too. that Al is flying, powered by a light-homing engine. Light-homing powering so many of our earth to earth planes. Al does the one half roll on the big roll, to the outside half loop. Now watch this. From night bench flight, this half roll all the way around. That's night bench flight. And the roll is 2.8.7. Roll down to 1.9. Roll down to 1.9. Now Peach is having a set of get four performance